Hello everybody, my name is Bonus, and welcome to a brand new FIFA 13 trailer breakdown. Now this is all to do with the career transfers, and believe me, there is so much that's changed. The guy actually does talk over a little bit of stuff, but he doesn't explain each screenshot in detail, which is what I'm going to do for you. So sit back and just enjoy the trailer while I break down little bits of it for you. So straight away, we get to see the brand new actually transfer kind of screen thing. And in the middle, as you can see, there is a pen, and actually that comes out and actually signs the bit where you see at the bottom right of your screen, where it says manager, it comes out and signs it, and you see that in the later in the trailer, but I think that, that is a really cool addition. Um, just something little like that, um, just makes the game feel a little more fluent and realistic. Um, anyway, onto the actual full screen, as you can see, the old FIFA tall screen has pretty much gone, it was very boring, nothing was even detailed on it. This is so detailed, I mean, I want to play career mode, I never played career mode in FIFA 12 to a point where I wanted to play it even more. This is just so much goodness in here. As you can see, you get a little box for your player in the bottom left of your screen, saying his overall, what position he plays, his age, his value, and what form he's in, and what morale he's in. As you can see, Joe, Hart, Joe Hart's morale um, is content, and his form is okay. So, I mean, it is okay to buy, but it, of course, if you're in the green there, if, um, if his form's brilliant, and his morale is really, really high, and he's really pumped to go and play, then... That player is worth a lot more to your club, and that is what the guy actually explains later in the trailer, that this, this transfer section in FIFA 13 is much more about what this player offers to your club, more than just buying a player. Um, if, if, for instance, if his form is bad and you was considering buying him, in FIFA 12 you wouldn't know that, so you just buy him and you'd have a bad form player without knowing. This time you can just reject that, you don't, wanna, you don't even want to go there, just, just no, I don't want to buy this player. So that's a cool addition into FIFA 13. As you can see at the, t at the top left, it says transfer offer, and that just basically says what um, team you're getting them from, the transfer type, like purchase or um, swap, because swaps are back in the um, um, FIFA 13, or not, are actually in th FIFA 13 now, as you see later in the trailer, and offer transfer sum, and let's just go on to the next screenshots. So this is the other side of that um, screenshot like you actually did see. And you can see the top of your screen basically it says Chief Executive's Comments. So basically of course you're the manager and you have the guy underneath you. And this guy basically just gives you a little hint of um, the player. So as you can see I'm going to read out for you. Hart has recently signed a new contract with the club. His price should be between 13 million and 15 million if you want to counter the offer. So basically um, it will give you little hints and just tell you a little bit about the player that of course isn't shown actually on the, already on the screen. As you can see, it, um, it says wage budget and transfer budget like that. And the options, you now have stall, accept offer, reject offer and counter offer, which he does explain a little bit later in the video. So that's this side of the um, new transfer screen. So we've done a lot of work on the transfer system. We've been working on it for a long time and it's probably one of the biggest uh, factors that attract people to play career mode. So on this part, actually, as you can see, it's the main hub of the uh, career mode, and it, right bang in the middle, you get this um, huge thing about transfers and what's happening when it's of course, when it is, of course, the transfer window. And as you can see, it's just very detailed. It tells you things. If you want to, if you want to go into a story and click it, um, of course, you can go and counter someone's offer. Um, if someone's, of course, interested in a player like Manchester United at the top, looking at Hummels, you can, of course, go to Hummels and put a bid in. So you. Ref of course, like countering them and trying to bid war against people. So it's incredibly easy to go into bidding wars and try and get players that other player people are getting. Of course, it's all part of the um, movement to just get FIFA 13 career mode really, really, really detailed. Last year, the system, players had a market value and CPU managers would basically just look at offers and if it matched that price, they would most likely just say yes. There was never this sense of how important is this player to my team. So what we wanted to do for FIFA 13 is let's inject all these managers with some solid AI that will ask all those questions and counter with high you know, transfer fees. So basically he was going into the details of how your AI, your chief executive or the actual AI of the system just helps you along with it but it still leaves you with the details that tells you everything about that player. I don't think there's anything they've actually left out this time. So I mean you know everything about the player you're about to buy and um, things like that. And as you see on the screen now, um, pretty I think it's actually pretty similar to the FIFA 12 one if I remember rightly, that it just tells you um, how much you've set and things like that to, to the transfer offer. So I'm just going to go into the other screenshots of that actual section. I just wanted you to listen to the, the um, person talk about what he's done to career mode. So I'm just going to go back to a few of the screenshots now. 
So the first screenshot from that little section was this one, and as you can see, underneath offer transfer sum, you can see and all players. So this is where you can include a player into the um, transfer. So if you're offering 10 million, 10 million for Van Persie, and you want to include a player, just put Oxley Chamberlain in there, and you you could it'll entice the um, the other team to accept the offer even more. Of course, if you offer a, a low standing player like someone with low morale and um, low fitness and stuff like that, that won't be worth a lot to you to the transfer. But of course, if you offer someone with high morale, high fitness, that is going to be much better to the transfer. And on to the other screenshot now. So this other screenshot is all about the current contract of the player that you're about to buy with the current club he has. So this per this player that he's about to buy now has three years on his contract, £50,000 a week he's on, doesn't get anything for a clean sheet, um, no bonus or anything like that, and his squad role is a crucial first team player. So this is another very nice addition into it, very detailed. Um, basically if you, you, it helps you to know if you're buying a player that is in the reserves or a captain of the reserves, captain of the team. Uh, but basically this one is of course a crucial first team player and of course goalkeepers the clean sheet bonus will have, be has something to do with that so basically um, the more you offer with your contract towards um, that is similar to this contract or better the more likely the player and the club will um, offer um, their player to you and accept the transfer we talked about this idea of, mo of player market value but at the end of the day it's about perception it's about how much is this player worth to you know, either the buying team or the selling club based on how he is performing. So like I did say earlier, this is the pretty much the whole screenshot of everything. Um, and he just did say that they are aiming for how that player is currently performing and what he does for your club. And this is basically everything as you can see. Um, current contracts, um, the little section of all about him, the form and the morale and what the chief executive says and what the offer is all about. We've also added just cool new features that people have been asking for a long time, like the ability to do counter offers. We've also added the ability to do player plus cash transactions. So transfers has a lot more details to it, but I think for now that's, that, that's quite a bit to, to get the conversation going. So that is the trailer on the FIFA 13 career mode transfers, a huge new renovation into FIFA 13 career mode and I can't wait to play it again even more now and that's what it was missing before in FIFA 12, just little details that really needed to be implemented into the game. So of course everyone's going to be playing this this year and the additions are pretty much awesome. So guys, that is pretty much the whole video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please drop a like on the video, it helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe up above and I will see you another time guys, I hope you have a great day.